Considering how closely their artistic careers and social concerns paralleled one another throughout the 1970s and 80s, one might be surprised how wildly Katsumata Susumu's background differed from that of Tsuge Tadao. While Tadao was molded by brutal experiences in the urban squalor of eastern Tokyo, Susumu was born and raised in modern-day Ishinomaki City, in the rural northeastern corner of Miyagi Prefecture, almost 250 miles north of the capital. As an orphan raised by his older stepsister, he spent much of his childhood assisting her with domestic tasks such as selling bellflowers or caring for their farm animals. This lifestyle instilled within Susumu a deep appreciation for environmental concerns. Inspired by artists such as Fukui Eiichi, Yamane Hifumi, and Sugiyoda Shigeru, popular among boys of his generation, Susumu began drawing manga in the 1960s, and his early works focused upon Japanese folklore, particularly the interaction between humans and those mythological creatures, such as water imps and raccoon tricksters, that inhabit the wilderness. When his family no longer required his assistance at home, Susumu had the opportunity to attend school, and he excelled in his classes. A true Renaissance man, Susumu expressed a passion for both art and science. As an undergraduate student at Tokyo Education University, modern-day Scuba University, he majored in physics, and after graduating in 1969, he pursued a master's degree in nuclear physics. Though he eventually left school in 1971 and turned his attention to manga as a profession, science became a fundamental theme in his work. Like his professors at Tokyo Education University, Susumu felt deeply concerned about the potential use of nuclear weaponry in the Cold War. In January 1972, he began to express those fears in cartoons about nuclear weapon testing, which he published in the journal Education Review. After hearing about the accident at Pennsylvania's Three Mile Island facility on March 28, 1979, he realized that his hometown was threatened by its close proximity to Onagawa nuclear facility. As a form of protest, Susumu collaborated with journalist Amagasa Keisuke to publish the illustrated polemic Why the Production of Nuclear Energy is Frightening. To publicize the book, the two further conducted a series of social awareness seminars at high schools in the early 1980s. Susumu's anti-nuclear manga ultimately culminated with works such as Deep Sea Fish, published in 1984, and Devil Fish Octopus, published in 1989. An excerpt of Deep Sea Fish is on display nearby. The artist's death in 2007 spared him from witnessing his hometown decimated by the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, but his manga prophesized what would occur at the nuclear facilities in Fukushima Prefecture. Since that disaster, the world is finally acknowledging the depth and relevance of Susumu's art, as well as the power of manga as an educational tool and a way in which to prevent similar catastrophes in the future. <laughs>